basics of this much discussed technique come down to two motions, the slap and the pop. First, the slap. Slapping involves striking the string, usually the E or A string, with the bony area at the joint in the middle of your thumb. Strike the string, bounce off, and you'll hear the note ring out. Learning to strike the intended string cleanly and accurately will take some practice, but stick with it. The other part of the technique is the pop. This involves pulling the D or G string away from the body of the bass and releasing it, causing it to snap back against the fretboard. Put the tip of your first or second finger just under the string and pull it up away from the body of the instrument and release. Try combining the slaps and the pops. In this example, we're playing a G on the E string and on the D string. There's a few different hand positions various players use in their slap and pop technique. Flea chooses to have his hand facing down towards the floor, while Marcus Miller and similar players run their forearm almost parallel to the strings with their thumb pointed upwards. Try both and see what works for you. Play around with the rhythm and get used to using this technique in various keys. Enjoy!